In this video, I would like to show you how to make a wizard's workshop. How to show children how to make a wizard's workshop. It's an experiment I've done many times in schools and the children get quite excited about it. Um, it allows them to have the materials to invent their own wizard's workshop. Um, to be wizard. Uh, all you need are the materials I have in front of you. Basically, it's chemistry. Chemistry with indicators. The indicator we're going to make is a red cabbage indicator. It's a very good acid alkali indicator made very cheaply. It's smelly, it doesn't keep, so it's not used a lot. But for children, <laughs> it, uh, it can be something like magic. The second experiment is magnetism. To, to do this you're going to need some self-adhesive magnetic, magnetic strip. Um, I sell this in my web shop, you can get it quite easily. Um, you'll need a, a little bit of um, magnetic self-adhesive magnetic strip. Um, the other things you'll need are simple things like a lolly stick, um, a paper clip, a card disc, some cut material to make the snake. The snake is a magnetic snake. Now the first thing we're going to do is make the red cabbage indicator. We've got to start with that because it takes a little while to brew, to set. So the children will take a strip from the cabbage, tear it into small pieces, as many, fill the bowl with small pieces, as many small pieces as you can get, um, torn from a, 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 a cabbage leaf, tear up as much as you can, fill the bowl if possible, fill the bowl with um, pieces of red cabbage. Very simple to do. The children's fingers will turn a bit purple, but that washes off, so don't let them worry about that. Now, I'm not going to spend too long doing it, but if you can, fill the bowl with red cabbage leaves, torn up red cabbage leaves. Then, the thing you must do is pour boiling water, absolutely boiling water, on the red cabbage leaves. This is something the children mustn't do. Um, you do that yourself. It's got to be absolutely boiling to extract the dye from the red cabbage. As you hear, I'm waiting until the kettle is absolutely boiling. Now, the children are tearing the red cabbages, filling the bowl with red cabbage leaves. If you're doing it in class, any sort of container will do. Now, when the water is boiling, remove the cabbage leaves from the children, pour boiling water on the cabbage, fill it up, take it away and tell the children that as in all witches' experiments, you've got to brew the cabbage. It's got to set aside for about 10 minutes so that the cabbage water can take the dye out. Show the children that it's really just a very pale blue colour until it's brewed. Leave it aside and ask the children to take their lolly stick and make this into a magic wand. That's the next thing you must do. To make it into a magic wand, one end of the magnet of the lolly stick must be made magnetic with the self adhesive magnetic strip. So each child will have a little bit of the magnetic strip and they will stick it on one end of their magic wand. It sticks quite firmly. Now it's rather obvious that it's black, so tell the children to colour the other end black with just a pencil so that when they're demonstrating it's not too easy for the audience to notice. Now, the back, where it's not magnetic, they want to make acid and alkali. 
To do this, you pour a little bit of Copadex glue onto a piece of paper, a piece of paper, just a little, and another paper should be coloured red, and that's the acid. You put some powder, called cream of tartar. The real name of cream of tartar that you buy for baking is tartaric acid. It's acidic. The alkali, you colour blue. The alkali is baking soda. And make sure it's not baking powder. Baking soda is an alkali. It's bicarbonate of soda. Now, the lolly stick is going to be acidic at the magnetic end and alkali at the non-magnetic end. So they dip them into the copidex, don't get it on the magnet, and then dip that end, get a lot of nice acid on it, tartaric acid. Turn it round, dip the non-alkali end, the alkali end, and make it alkali with the bicarbonate of soda, baking soda. Now, they both look the same. Those powders should be left to dry. So they put that in front of them to dry. The next thing they're going to do is make their snake. All the time this is brewing. It's getting darker and darker. More and more purple. It's still not very cool, so we'll leave it to brew a little longer. And then they get on with designing their snake. Each should have a sheet of A4 paper and a circle cut out of A4 paper. Use the classroom scissors to make the snake, to make a coil. The circle is cut round and round. The snake can be as fat or as thin as they like to make it. Thin snakes are better, but they're more difficult to cut. Now, the coil is cut from the circle just by going round and round and round until you get to the centre of the circle. As you see, the coil just drops. Maybe they've never done this before a wee bit narrower at the head. This is the head. The head is the centre of the circle. When you get to the centre, you cut across so that that's like a snake. Now you coil the snake again onto your piece of paper and then decorate it. This could take some time. The children can do any design they like on the snake. Snakes come with all sorts of patterns. I'm not going to spend too long making my pattern, but the children could be allowed to spend quite a long time making their snake really look dangerous with lots of coils. Now, in the centre, let's give him a red, dangerous looking triangular eye. I'm not doing any more colours, the children can do that. The tongue of the snake is a paper clip. The paper clip is slipped onto the point where the snake's tongue would go. This is a metal, so it will lift with the magnet. But you don't want the whole snake to lift, so you anchor the tail with a little bit of sellotape. Just fix it firmly on the paper next that it won't rise. Now the children can practice. By this time the powder is getting nice and dry. First thing they do is not wake the snake. They're being magicians you see. So they're not wake the snake. They use the end that's not magnetic. And they say wakey, wakey, snakey. And it doesn't wake. It doesn't wake until their audience shouts a magic word. And while they're talking about this, they turn it round and they say, No, you've got to shout abracadabra. Wakey, wakey snake. Abracadabra. And it does wake. 
and it rises and coils. Take it off again and try again. Wakey wakey snake. Nothing happened. You didn't shout the magic word. Right, try again. Wakey wakey snakey. Oh, it rises when you shout the magic word. That's a bit of magic. Now, this by this time, our magic potion has brewed. We'll use some that we've made earlier. It's a bit darker because we give it a bit longer. Here it is in the cup. Now, this is the colour it would become. It's a nice dark purple when it's brewed for about five minutes. Ask the children to take a spoonful and place it on their paper plate or their card. Ask them what colour it is. We've got to make three circles, three dabs of the indicator. It's nice and cool by this time. Now, you see, what colour is that? And of course, the colour is obvious. It's purple. It's a nice purple indicator. Yours will be a bit darker because hopefully you'll have a bit more time to spend with the cabbage leaves. The, the more cabbage you have in it, the darker the indicator becomes and the more effective it is. Now, if you remember, we made the magnetic side acidic. So, let's see what colour the acid goes. You touch it. You can see a magic word as well. How about Harry Potter? And immediately, that becomes red instead of purple. When the audience is watching that, you turn it round. And you see, I wonder what colour I can make it this time. See another magic word and touch it with the alkali aid. and it becomes blue because that's the colour the indicator goes with alkali. Now, use your spoon or, yes, they've put it in with a spoon so they've got a spoon. Use their spoon to join, or you can use your magic wand, join the acid with the alkali, red with the blue. Watching all the time the colour of neutral. Just make the two ends meet. And watch what happens in the middle. When an acid mixes with the alkali, it becomes neutral again. It takes a wee while. But if you can get enough of the neutral of, of the alkali into the acid, you can make it go purple. Now that's not magic. That's pure science. You're doing a titration with the alkali mixing with the acid and it goes back to neutral. You could make it rather a magic trick. Try it and have fun. There's no harm can come to the children with those magic tricks. But remember, tell them about the science. Tell them about the acid and the alkali mixing to make it back to neutral. And Let's have some fun with science. Thanks for listening.